In this video, we want to evaluate a secant of negative 225 degrees. So the first thing that we need to do is draw the angle of rotation to find the reference angle. All right. So there's the initial side, and we're going to want to rotate clockwise because it's a negative angle. So negative 225 will go down to negative 90, negative 180. Uh, we could go up to negative 270, but since our angle is only negative 225, we only want to rotate up just a little bit to maybe like right there. Okay, I'm going to draw my terminal side, and then we want to find our, our reference angle. Now, our reference angle is always from our terminal side, which is negative 225 right there degrees to the x-axis that's closest to which would be down there so there's my actual angle right here that would be my reference angle so 225 minus 180 is going to be 45 degrees okay remember that this was negative 180 and our uh, angle or I'm sorry our reference angle is always going to be positive so now that we know our reference angle is 45, we want to find secant of 45 degrees. We could pull up our special right triangle, uh, 45, 45, 90. Okay, there's 45, 45 degrees. Um, across from the 45 is going to be 1. Across from that, 45 is going to be the value of 1. And across from the 90 is going to be the square root of 2. So if we're finding the secant of 45, secant is going to be um, the opposite or the reciprocal of cosine. And cosine is a over h. So we want to find the reciprocal to that. So that's going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay. Um, now, uh, since the given angle is 45, hypotenuse of 45 is going to be the square root of 2. So we put that in, and the adjacent of 45 is going to be 1. Uh, and it doesn't matter which actual angle uh, of 45 degrees you use because it'll give us the same answer. So if we simplify this, the secant of 45 degrees is going to be the square root of 2. Um, now we could actually plug that value back in for secant of negative 225 degrees it's going to be the square root of 2 but we have to check to see if the sine is correct so is sine uh, or the sine of secant going to be positive or negative um, in the second quadrant right here um, secant shares the same sign as cosine so is cosine going to be positive or negative well um, if you can't remember how we figure that out remember that the ordered pairs are represented by cosine of theta and it's going to be comma sine of theta so cosine always matches up with x values and then sine of theta always matches up with the y values so we could ask ourselves is cosine of theta going to be positive or negative in the second quadrant and I think that's going to be a negative um, so our answer is going to be the negative square root of 2 okay so um, to kind of recap what we do, first thing first is would be finding the reference angle. So you draw your angle of rotation around this way. The reference angles, uh, the number of degrees from the terminal side to the closest x-axis, which is 45. And we set up our 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. We find out what secant of 45 is, which was the square root of 2. And then the last thing that we have to do is find whether uh, it's positive or negative and that's when you um, bring up this stuff so the cosine of theta comma sine of theta matches up with x comma y and then just figure out what quadrant the terminal side is in and that tells us whether it's going to be positive or negative so that's that